Michelle DeRigo's home in Whitman is being foreclosed on. The mother of five daughters is going through a divorce with her husband, and she can't make the mortgage payments. She's not sure what she's going to do. So, on that end, I'm trying to tell them, you know what, girls, the bank's only doing their job. We've missed our payments, and they have a right to take the house. Does it stink? Yeah. But you can't be angry at them. They only want their money. They're all I really have. Now I tell them that I don't know where we're going. And they, they, it stinks that they blame me, and I know they, they don't mean to, but I think they don't understand how hard I have tried. I mean, when I'm on the phone, I do this, I point my finger. Because they know when the finger's up, it's mm -hmm. important. No fighting in the background, no killing each other. And they just, um, they don't get it. Mm. They really don't. And I think there are other things they don't get why Dad's worked his whole life and how come they'll take, take the house. Dad always goes to work, even when he's sick, Mom. And so this is the oldest. And, this house 22 and um, years. no, we've been together 22 years. She and she's 22. Oh, is in here a lot. And there's uh, other pictures of yeah. the oh, other sports players no, upstairs it's, 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 on yeah, the fridge upstairs. Mm -hmm. This is just you know hand me down. Um, Victoria, what do you? What does your mom tell you is happening is around now? Yeah. I don't care. Mm. Yeah. As long as the girls have, that's like they get upset because there's no more hand me down clothes. We're starting, all their bodies we can't have pay the bills, yeah, and we're so starting to lose the house, and we might have to move out of here. So they all have different clothes yeah, and styles. Yeah, How's all, that? Well, no, you're Do you understand? Do you kind of. To be honest, all the three bedrooms I've looked into, they're as much as my mortgage. And I firmly believe the landlords know a lot of people are losing their homes, so what they're doing is they're booting up the, the rents. I mean, I... 50, what, 13 years? If you add it up, yeah, three years in the one house, 10 here. I was paying 650 on Furnace Brook Parkway. Granted, the landlord was a slum, but it was a three bed, pretty much a three bedroom, if you want to call it, because I had the dining room and living room. Mm -hmm. It was probably bigger than my house. And I had two bathrooms, and I was paying $650 a month. Mm. So, I mean, rents have really just, we'd be better off buying it. That's why we bought the house. You know, because we had looked into renting a home. When I got pregnant with Dawn, and it was like, why are we going to rent a house and pay their mortgage when we can buy our own house and it'll be ours? Everyone's struggling, and that's why, and everyone's using their credit, and that's what they just said on CNN the other day. All these families are using credit cards to be able to put gas in their car, feed their kids, and do what they have to do, and, and that's how everyone's losing everything else, you know, right under. How do you expect someone to pay $4 for a gallon of gas? I don't know. We just looked check to check, and I thought, uh, you know, there's food on the table. I never thought it would happen, to be dead honest. I thought, okay, we'll grow old together and have grandkids. I have them over. I'm angry, I'm pissed, I'm hurt, disappointed, and I feel like a failure to my kids is the biggest thing. I fail my kids, <laughs> and that's how he feels, too. I mean, I talked him into this. Buying the house, you mean? I just thought we always just went with the flow. Where am I supposed to take my kid? For more on the foreclosure crisis, read the Patriot Ledger and visit patriotledger.com. For the Patriot Ledger, I'm Jack and Canarcio.